Big button really make the difference. If you never try it, hmm. you don't know it. You won't. Hmm. You won't feel it. Most people conduct with bare hands, especially in the choral yeah. music. But the first time I got to pick up one like this, I start with a small instrument group. I was caught. It's a magic. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that you tip of this and the sound comes. <laughs> and all kinds of sound. Yeah. But but the, the conductors are underprivileged too. Mm. Because they don't get chance to perform very often. Oh, but they like to. <laughs> yeah. But it takes a lot to to get a chance. In the music club, have we ever had somebody performing conducting? <laughs> well, today. <laughs> no, exactly. That's why I go for <laughs> premium. <laughs> okay, I'd like to share this wonderful experience. The best part is I use it as a way of music appreciation. When I listen to music, I don't just sit there quietly. I try to conduct. Oh. <laughs> and, and but that's pretty cool. It. So they don't follow you, <laughs> you follow them. <laughs> but the fun part is, I try to guess. I try to guess when the burst will come out, especially with the new music, and I try to guess how the melody goes, especially with the music, and even guess the next tone, next pitch. And it's not just fun, it's very much in there. And you get to understand, you get to appreciate music, more, more than when you actually sing it with the sound. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But Leonard Slatkin did not for did. several years. For several years. Oh. But not not sure always. That, um, sometimes they do that. Sometimes they do this. <laughs> some people do this. <laughs> and, and some people use big gesture. Some people use very little. Well, Tony, we've seen a conductor jump off the stage, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In Alton. That was Shane Williams. Well, yeah. He actually jumped over point centers off the platform onto the stage. Like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Shane, his name is Shane Williams. Shane Williams, we have a world record. We have a world record, a conductor. Died on the stage. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right? Mm. Is that right? <laughs> really? Who was oh that? my goodness. <laughs> Who was that? I forgot the name. Too. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony, remember when mm. we were uh, had a music tour uh, in in where? Swiss. Uh, and and we attend the music festival and huh? there's a two conductor from Berlin Symphony. One's the old one, the other one's the new one. The new one, he doesn't want to play for. He, because he's running around. <laughs> yeah. It's the dancing, it's running yeah. around. Well, it's the most uh, liberated performance. Mm -hmm. Tony, there's a, a piece by John Cage. I think the title is <laughs> oh, yeah. Four 16, I think it's 416, yeah. 4 minutes, 16 yeah. seconds, yeah. and I think it's a string quartet, if I'm wrong, it's just, yeah. but they all walk out on stage, they hold their instruments, yeah. they play nothing, <laughs> 4 minutes, <laughs> really? yeah. 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 John Cage, really, yeah. oh, but the, but whatever you hear in your head, and, and one, of the, oh. one of the little things that I observed and uh, learned when I was, <laughs> when I first went into the college, and I pay attention to that, and, and I found out even today, most people neglect that part of conducting. Even the conductors neglect that part. And I try to show that today. Did you notice that? The very important part of conducting that the most, many of the conductors ignore, neglect. The ending of the sound. <laughs> Most conductors pay attention to the beginning, the outburst of the sound, but they just forget how to cross this. <laughs> you know, I, I got some feeling about when you look at the video 
for the orchestra, what do you see most? The player. They hardly show conductor. Mm -hmm. But I think conductor should be the one, he, he, he's the soul mm -hmm. of the whole group. But hardly you can see the conductor. Well, the, the conventional orthodox conductor conduct the music. So like music. No, they conduct the music by rehearsal. In the rehearsal, he told everybody what to do, when to do, what at the what time, and people memorize that, and they don't change. The make the conductor remember what he said. That's why they they don't have to watch that closer. They just have a glance. Yeah, but but why why conductor make difference? Yeah. Why why make difference? Some, the same yeah. orchestra, you have two, the, the same group, same okay. group, but you have two different, it shows different. Some character, as I say, some character conduct by discipline. Everybody remember what I say, everybody play by your memory. That's one kind of conductor. They are the, the, the authoritarian, <laughs> author, authoritative, authority. Yeah. authority. But there are different kind of conductor. I try to be that kind of conductor. Yeah. Yeah. Don't remember what I say when we were in the <laughs> rehearsal, because at that moment I might forget. Um, you know, Tony, when I my conducting teacher always emphasized to, he said you don't just conduct with your hands. He said you're breathing. Yeah, will everything. Always but give a lot. I learned it at Hard mm -hmm. The first time I actually had a conductive. Uh, 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 Beside all, during the dress rehearsal, we, we have a cello solo, mm -hmm. and everybody went for his pieces. And he suddenly forgot. He played his solo one beat too long. Mm. One beat too long. Mm. Half of the orchestra move on and jump in as they remember. Mm. Half of the orchestra wait for him. Mm. <laughs> now we have two projects mm. going on at the same time, yeah, yeah. and that gave me an enlightenment. That's, hey, that's where the conductor is important. Mm. And what I call, I use the computer terminology called error recovery. And somebody in the audience during that rehearsal actually screamed, shout to me, stop it, stop it, <laughs> they're wrong. And I don't care, I don't pay attention to it, I just continue. After that, I told my orchestra members that we have a wonderful moment of rehearsal because we rehearse aero recovery. In a real performance, you cannot stop and do it all. You have to try to bring it back. And I try to do all kinds of things to tell them, come back, <laughs> it's not doing. And that's an enlightening experience. Very few people have that experience, I believe. And, and that gave me the idea how important the conductor is. <coughs> and that gave me the determination. I want to conduct without memory. Because I do forget. And the people forget. So that's why I say, well, you have to be prepared for surprise. And you have to adjust to what I do. And we don't have a fixed interpretation. Even the reason, even how many beats that particular note have to last. And we keep changing at any time. Uh, but that gave the performance better quality because people pay attention and there are people together. I, I got one. I have to go to the theaters. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. sorry. Oh, uh, before we leave, could I make an announcement before we leave? Uh, some of us are going to lunch to the Maya. Did you care? Yeah, I I'm not. I Okay. Well, um, anyway, we're doing lunch at the Maya because they're closing their door.